Hi there, it's Hélène with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my third update for the Rolling Pen Roulette collab, uh, or Roulette Project Pen, whatever, however you would like to say it. Um, I have the hashtag right here if you want to see a bunch of fantastic videos. It was developed by Alexandra or Alexi and Rebecca. And I will have their channels down below. And of course, I have featured their pictures in this video as well. So you can see who uh, I am talking about. I highly encourage you to go check out their channels and to go check out some other folks collabing in this mega collab. I would say there are, I believe, over 40, if not over 50 people collaborating with this. So what is this roulette pan collab? The idea is that we have a rolling project pan that consists of six items and the six items are generated at random out of 50 categories. So you pick six numbers and then based on the description of what the product should be, you select a product out of your collection and you focus on using up that product until whatever your goal, whatever the goal you set up for that product has been accomplished, then it rolls out of your project and something else comes in. Now when you select something new, you end up selecting a new number, a new random number to figure out what the new category of product it will be. Okay, so that is kind of the background. Now I want to share with you what it is that I had in this project pen month, this past month, and tell you how things have been going. Uh, and then if uh, is needed, I will select more stuff, but stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's take a look at what it is that was in this project pen, or this, I should say this month of this project pen project. So I had one product which was a product that I want to get uh, more use out of and this is an Annabelle pink shimmery product. It's a product that I like but that I don't use enough. I don't, I don't know if the camera caught it so let me just try one more time. I think that's better right there. Okay. I think it's very pretty and all I wanted in this project was for me to use it more and I've used it at least two to four times a month so far um, and I really like it. Now the challenge I'm having is that I'm doing focuses on specific brands and so my opportunity to use this product is I'll use it as a topper here and there but it can't be the main focus of a look if I'm focusing on, an, on, on a specific brand. So I hope that makes sense. If you're curious for my brand new focus series, I'll just put the link uh, to the playlist here if you want to take a look. I've done, I think, um, a dozen now brand new focus projects. The next one was a product for me to use under um, that Annabelle Pink Shimmer. And this is the Annabelle, again, um, lavender pencil. So it looks like this and this is the color. Now, if you haven't seen these videos yet, I will just do a swatch for you. There it is. And actually, shame on me. I'll do a, um, a swatch of the eyeshadow as well. I don't think I've been doing that. That's too bad because it's really pretty. So that's the eyeshadow and then the pencil. And when you put the lavender under that kind of iridescent pink, it's very pretty. It's, it's quite striking. Um, not that I would necessarily pair these every day, but when I'm in the mood for a lavender look, it looks really cool. So I have not been using that pencil so much for wearing under the pink shimmer, obviously, because the pink shimmer I'm not wearing that often, but I am using it in the waterline, the lower waterline, and I'm actually using it today because I thought it would look really good with this uh, look, which is a look that I uh, got using the Jaclyn Hill palette, if you are curious. Um, the brand new focus review of that is going to be coming up in a video in the not too distant future. Okay, so then I had finished um, a NYX Micro Brow Pencil last time and the category that I pulled up was a category, um, I think it was a product that 
that I don't use or something like that. I, I apologize, I don't remember what it was. But what it uh, ended up being is, conveniently enough, I pulled in a new uh, brow product. So this is the Quo little set. And that Quo set, oh, and by the way, the Annabelle liner, that was a colorful liner. That was the, the category for that product that I picked. So anyway, this um, Quo brow product, and I think it was a product that you don't use or something. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll, I'll put it down below here. Um, and it's three products. So it is a wax, a highlighter, and then a couple of colors of powder, brow powder, and I'm wearing it today. I've been using it every day, actually, and I really like it. I really like it. So it's so nice to have had this in the project. So um, as you can see, I've made quite a dip in the wax. Um, I have, I've been using that highlighter every day, but it just doesn't look like that much of a difference. And then the powders, I first was mixing a lot of the kind of light brown and dark brown, but what I find now is that I'm using more of the dark brown, at least for now. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be mixing more of those two powders. Um, and I really like this little brush that, that came with it. It's, um, it's really useful. So I intend to to keep using this and will have no doubt, no doubt that I will finish it. Now, interestingly enough, this wax product, um, I have the potential with another product that I have in my collection to refill that pan. So I'm not worried about running out of the wax. Um, and so that's going to be kind of nice as well. I have an Annabelle matte brown that is kind of between these two shades, more toward the 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 a dark chocolate color and when I'm done with that pan I'm just gonna swap it in for another one so I think I'm going to be long story short I'm going to be using this compact for a while because it's I just I love the size of this thing and it's put it this way I'm gonna be sad when that little brush dies <laughs> I'll have to try to find another replacement but I think this might just be a little convenient part of my uh, regular collection even though I do have some brow pencils and when I'm in a hurry a brow pencil I find is, is faster but I just I have been converted to the wax and uh, eyebrow powder mix which I kind of discovered when I started using the Smashbox uh, Shape Matters face palette which has um, the wax and powders in there and um, so yeah I'm uh, I'm into this little guy. The next one was a product that I was attracted to for the packaging. Interesting packaging. And the one I chose was the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Mascara. There's a black side and a brown side. Now, I've, t I've said in previous updates that the black side is done, but the brown side, I was not sure I would like, and I ended up deciding that I wanted to use it for my lower lash line. Well, in using it on my lower lash line, I ended up also really liking it on my upper lashes, my top lashes, and so I am I'm torn now. I actually don't want this anymore in this project pan because this mascara has been so effective in, and it's a shimmery brown. Let me just give you a swatch of it. it has been so effective in giving me a look that I'm really looking for um, in when I want a brown mascara. And this one paired with the Kat Von D Hyde liner, H-Y-D-E, is just awesome. So here's, I hope you can see some of the shimmer in it. It's kind of hard to see but it's just perfect. It's a tiny, tiny, I don't know if you can see, it's a tiny, tiny amount of shimmer, but it's beautiful. So what it was is it was discreet enough to not have my lower lashes like go bang because they're really long and they look ridiculous when I put regular mascara on. But I'm also ending up liking it on my upper lashes. I have to put sometimes three coats, but with a brown liner, it looks really good. I, I just do brown liner maybe three, four times a month though. And so I just don't want to run out of this prematurely because when I do run out, I don't think I'm going to repurchase. So for now, it's my only brown liner. And I, I do want to keep it and really, really enjoy it as opposed to feeling like I'm using it on days where it's not 
the best use for it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pull this one out of the project. I hope I haven't been rambling too much. <laughs> Next, I have a high gloss from um, Elizabeth, um, no, Estée Lauder. It's, yeah, it's Estée Lauder. I was going to say Elizabeth Arden, but that's wrong. And I have been making progress on it. Uh, and I don't use it a ton, but I have been using it more recently. And, and I'll show you why. So I think I'll be making more progress on this little guy. This rum punch, which I managed to put on my lips today, is, um, it is done. And let me explain why or how. I got to the very edge of this lipstick. And to me, when I'm at the plastic, it is done when I'm working on a project, but I depotted this and I highly encourage folks. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the, the inside. It's like, I don't, there we go. Maybe this, this is a good angle. It's really hard to see the bottom. And part of why it's so hard to see the bottom is because it is so deep. This is at least one over one centimeter. So maybe a half an inch, not quite a third, of an inch deep. That's insane. There's so much, like it goes down to about here, okay? There is so much product below the plastic that it feels like there was like a third more than what was just available on the outside. So I depotted this thing to keep using it. And I think I'll reach back behind the camera so the setup might change a little bit because it's in the drawer behind the camera. I'm going to go and show you what was in here that I'm still using. But for the purposes of the project, because it was at the plastic, I consider this done. So let me show you what's left. Okay, hopefully my setup's not too, too different, but I depotted it into this little guy and it has another um, lipstick in it, but they're, they're not that far apart in color. So I think that's not a big deal. So the light color is what I depotted from that other container. And there's quite a bit, you can see from the side, there's quite a bit left in here. And I want to keep using it. I really like the Rum Punch from Tarte. Now I have, if you look behind me here, I have a lot of lipsticks. So I am not in a hurry to buy any more, but there's no reason for me not to finish this. I used this all summer and really enjoyed it. I think it's a flattering color on me and, uh, and I want to keep using it. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping in here with a lip brush and continuing to use it. I am um, delighted in a way for how a deluxe size um, sample lipstick, like this was, does it even say? This was one gram of lipstick that it just basically lasted me the summer and I wasn't using it every day. I was using a, a variety of different lipsticks, but when I wanted a convenient nude, that's what I was using. And, um, and it was, um, I mean, I liked using it. I'm a little sad that it's done, um, but I really enjoyed it over the summer and it was good information for me that I thought I was bad at panning lipstick and it just turns out that um, I just need to give it time and that when I don't manage to pan a lipstick, it's usually because I just don't really like it. So there's a couple of other lipstick in it, lipsticks in my rolling, my personal uh, rolling project pan that I have to really think about whether I'm going to keep in here because obviously I'm able to pan lipstick. All right, that's it for that. But what it means though is I'm removing a, pro a product from my um, project, this project, and then also removing this one because it's finished. So this one because I want to spare the little bit that's left to use it on special special days where it's, that's the right mascara. And then this one uh, because it is done. So I'm going to take my phone and generate a couple of numbers and look up the category and select something out of my collection. Okay, so I put in the uh, random org number generator 1 to 50 as a minimum and a max. I'm going to select four numbers. The reason being is that if any of those numbers are categories that I've picked before, I will just go to the next number that I generated. So I really only need two numbers, but in case it's a category I already have, why not change to a different category? So here we go. I'm going to select four numbers. So the first one that I generate is seven. I'm just going to write them down. So seven, and I'm going to generate again, 24, 
and again 43 and finally 29 so we'll go first with 7 then 24 and so on um, and only go to the other two if um, if I have um, um, already used the category so let me just go back and take a look at the spreadsheet okay so in the spreadsheet number seven is a product that I haven't used in a while okay so the quo product I'm pretty sure that that was the category so let me go to the next number the next number is 24 24 is a product that I will always repurchase shoot I've had this category before <laughs> let me go to the next one I'm glad I picked more than two 43 is a collab product hmm a collab product okay that was a really hard one <laughs> so I do have a collab product that I'm willing to put into this project and that is the Nagel uh, UD lip palette so that's the outside it's really a cool package and I'm looking forward to it's a five pan lipstick palette and I'm looking forward to actually using up the pans and then refilling them with blister packs so anyway um, let me just show you what it looks like so that is a plastic cover and then you open up the plastic cover and it reveals the five lipsticks and the five lipsticks in here are they're all from Urban Decay there is um, Roach, Oblivion, Backtalk, Troublemaker and Psycho so I think those are five really nice lipsticks and I can definitely bring that with me on an upcoming trip so that's cool and it has a really neat pretty full-size mirror and a really cool brush and I love the fact that it just pops open like that so I am um, I'm actually excited about using this product that's I like it I'm so happy and the fact that I just finished a lipstick I can put that in and it was really hard to choose a product because I, I'm not big on panning my palettes and I have a couple of collabs for the palettes but I and I didn't want to use my Smashbox Vlada stuff I didn't want to pan that stuff I'm not ready to do that I just got got it in my collection and this is one that I just got in my collection as well but the packaging and the and the uh, lip brush and the pans I can reuse so I'm really excited to put this one in my project very very cool wow this is awesome I'm very happy so now let's take a look at the last number so the last number that I had was 29 and 29 is <laughs> a product in a palette well I'm kind of doing that <laughs> so what was let me just go back to 43 here 43 was a collab product and then 29 is a product in a palette okay so I thought about it for these two okay so um, I'm going to say that because they both these both fit so I'm gonna put these two in the project and I'm gonna explain why this is a collab and it's a palette so technically I could use that for either category and um, this product the wonder wand came as part of the Chloe Morello and Ciate London second collab so I've decided these are the two products that I'm going to pan now this mascara I've been using for a while so probably going to not last that long but it would really be nice to just have it through a project and make sure that I finish it and this so am I stretching the rules a little bit sure do I feel bad about it no I'm, I'm adding some good products to the um, this uh, roulette project pan and it's definitely making me put something in a uh, rolling project pan that I probably wouldn't so this is really cool so let's just recap what is in this project for the next month until the next update the final update on October 15th let's go back right to the beginning I still have my 
Annabelle eyeshadow and the colorful liner and the high gloss from uh, Estée Lauder and I think those three really go well together. I love this little guy so definitely going to keep using that. So that was four products and now these two are added to the mix. Really happy about that. So last time I did weigh those six products and I want to show you what the progress was on those six items. Now in one month I was able to use up two grams of products going from 113 grams down to 111. Now you have to consider that that number includes all of the packaging and everything. So I am very happy with the change. So I didn't eliminate, for example, the lipstick that I finished or the mascara that I'm removing. They're all there, so it's only the product that I use that I'm counting as being gone. So I am hoping to make, again, a couple of grams uh, difference in the new packaging. So obviously I'm going to remove the products that I'm removing from the project, add the new ones in, and also show you a picture of the starting weight for the new products. So my new starting weight for the new products is 192 grams, if I'm not mistaken. And for all of these products, I'm going to have the progress for them uh, at the end of this video, if you're curious. So to just keep watching, you'll see a bunch of pictures. So I'm um, really happy with this one. It's actually the most exciting update I think I've had so far. Um, I I hope you enjoyed it and I really again recommend that you take a look at some other videos from this uh, collab. You can use the hashtag to find them. Um, it's been a lot of fun. If there's another edition of this uh, project, I highly recommend jumping on board. It's a lot of fun. So I'm very pleased you stuck around this long. The pictures are next, but I will say thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, but for now, take care. Pour te te demander, allô, quelque chose, quoi, yeah.